Hi, I am Mandy of Mad Cow Mandy Designs. It is June 27th, 2022, and I have a very special unboxing for y'all today. So you know that I love sock yarn and I love knitting socks, so every month I order the Southern Skeins sock box. I got my hands on the Knot Sock box. Oh my God. Okay, so Jenna dies up the sock box and then she has the knot sock box, which normally speaking will have anywhere from DK weight up to a bulky weight yarn. The weight's a surprise, the color, the theme, it's all a mystery and you get it every month. So for this year, Jenna kind of changed up the game a little and for the whole year, you're getting DK weight yarn. Um, that way, if you want to participate in the chat knit was it no hashtag chat knit night uh, our little zoom group that we have you can use that yarn to make your blanket you don't have to use her yarn in order to come play with us and make the blanket and have the zoom call that's just part of all the fun she wanted to curate the box so that it would go well with this and make a beautiful blanket at the end of it um, Pam really likes DK weight yarn. So she has been ordering the knot sock box this year so that she can make all the DK socks and she's also making the blanket and she is having a blast with it. Well, she got to April, she opened it and saw the theme and thought of my mom. Uh, my mom is a homesteader. She has chickens and a garden and she is constantly up to something. Right now she is in over her head with the garden canning and dehydrating and vacuum bagging for the freezer. I, I get lost in all the stuff she does. She does so much. So Pam gave me the April bag, told me that I can do an unboxing of it, and gave me very strict instructions that this goes to my mom afterwards. So let's open it up and start there. This is a Miss Fiber Fox bag and oh my god it's so cute. It's all garden themed. Okay. You get the card and make sure everything looks about the same. The free pattern is the sampler pattern, and I'm not sure what that is. I will try to look it up for y'all. It might just be the blanket. Okay, let's get into some of these goodies. So there is lavender eucalyn wool wash. Some chamomile stash tea. <laughs> this is cute. Yarn chicken sticker. Because, let's face it, we all play yarn chicken. And a really cute chicken stitch marker. Oh, this is from Braun Shepherd Studios. She always makes the cutest stuff. Oh my goodness. And oh. Aroma Bliss Apothecary Lavender Candle. If I can get it open. Oh my goodness. There we go. Hmm. Ooh, it smells really good. I think it got melted in the car though. <laughs> uh, I may have left this outside. I didn't know that it had a candle in it. Um, so I'll see if I can fix that but it smells so good. And I just finally got to burn one of these that came in my box the other day. It smelled 
So good. Okay, now let's get to the part that you're really here for, which is the yarn. This one is called Farmyard. Oh man, it's gray with some greens and a little bit of red in there. Those greens are just, mmm. And this is the deluxe box, so she got two of them. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so let's talk plans. Um, I am going to make a pair of socks for my mom. They'll, she really likes the DK weight socks to be house slippers. That's what she calls them. Uh, she'll, she keeps them right next to her bed, puts them on first thing in the morning, tools around the house, makes her coffee and everything, and then she swaps into her day socks and goes out into the yard to work. Um, so I'm going to knit a pair for mom and a pair for Pam. So they will have cute little matching farm socks. Um, I think that's going to be adorable. So if y'all want to keep an eye out on my regular weekly podcast, you'll get to see the update of how this is going. And yeah, so I am so excited that I got to open a knot sock box for y'all. And if you want to join in on any of the fun, links are down below for the sock box, the knot sock box, and all of the rest of her yarn. You really can't go wrong with Jenna's yarn. All of it's so squishy and yummy. It's just absolutely wonderful. I can't say enough nice things about her work. Her colors are beautiful. Her yarn is all so squishy. So head on over there, check her out, and I will catch up with y'all on the weekly podcast. Bye.